key to Sid's success is ideas. He has better ideas than most people. He's a bundle of energy that's making connections that no one else is seeing. It's exhausting to keep up with his ideas and his energy. He likes new ideas, uh, but unlike most of us, he'll actually do something with a new idea. He, I think, credits part of his success to the education he got here at Syracuse University. For me, it was the first time I left home and the family, nobody had gone to college, they were immigrant folks, and I only applied to Syracuse. There's so many opportunities, things to do on campus and media and publications and student government. And I think it's got a, a DNA or something in the air up there. There was a humor magazine called the Syracuse and a lot of famous cartoonists and writers and people came through there. It was a 40-page uh, publication which I edited and then second year I was as a business manager. The experiences on the publications and the organizations that I had sort of a jump start when I got to advertising out of the mailroom. I, I was a little more conversant with printing techniques and reproduction techniques and writing and advertising. So it was a very good segue from being a student to being a working person. He was one of the original Mad Men, um, Madison Avenue uh, advertising execs. He learned the business from the mailroom at Norman Craig and Cummel and then advanced into being a very talented writer and then copy director and creative director at Benton and Bowles. I was always fascinated by make big money at home writing small paragraphs in spare time. I said, hey, that's for me. I like that idea. Uh, he worked on some iconic brands like uh, Instant Maxwell House Coffee, and uh, Texaco, uh, you can trust your car, the man who wears the star. Those first few years I was average, all these commercials were done live, 90 second live commercials on network TV, on Playhouse 90, shaving somebody or have a cigarette lighter network or pouring the beer and the dancing spills over. It's a crazy uh, world of its own. We employed artists, actors, technicians, writers, the, the mix of people who really got out there, out of themselves into some expression in a free and easy way and it looked like a hell of a fun place to work and I left to start my own about 10 years later 1970 something that was more less involved with the mechanics of media and accounting and all that and just doing the creative consulting like a creative gypsy to have a, zig, a nutty idea and then see it actually <laughs> realize and being done and working that, that, that's a kick. He has now translated that passion and energy for commercial marketing to what we call in public health social marketing. And as Sid expanded his interest, he quickly glommed on to a very interesting issue. And that was one way to protect animals and one way to make people healthy at the same time was to reduce their meat consumption. You know, the USDA and the FDA, German, as a country, about 15% more meat than we should be eating. 15% of uh, 21 meals a week is about three meals, which is, say, one day. And if one day we can knock off meat, you can remember that, uh, that might do it. His big idea was really is if you can attach the meaning and the behaviors related to health to a day of the week, Monday being the example, you really can help people sustain health uh, behaviors over time. The Monday campaigns, plural, evolved from uh, the original campaign, which was Meatless Monday back in 2003. So collectively, they're using Monday as a day of the week to start, maintain new good habits or break old ones. So Healthy Mondays, we'd like to say, is a day that all health breaks loose. So use Monday as the reset button for your week to think about your health and to engage in activities, whether that's physical activity, nutrition, meditation, to really help you be healthy. It's now in over 26 countries. The fact that this idea uh, is so powerful that it can transcend languages and national barriers and be in a place like Iran as well as Israel really speaks to the power of the idea. It's a fun day. Yeah, be free Monday. I stand amazed and awed at the penetration this has had, the publicity this has gotten, and the way this actually has resonated with the public. Not many behavioral change public health issues do that. So the Learner Center is really like the trifecta for Sid because he loves Syracuse, he wanted to do something wonderful there. He has an opportunity to use his marketing expertise and all his promotional background and make a real contribution to the school. And the Learner Center really is a vessel for 
the kinds of ideas and creativity and work that Sid uh, has made his life's work. And in Sid's case, he came up with an idea and brought it to the world of public health and as a private citizen to have such persistence and passion that he can use his skills and his ideas to affect transformation on a global level. I mean, it's pretty extraordinary.